The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. Yeah, we have Tom on t from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, thanks. Hey, Good. Hey, uh, how you guys doing? Nico? Doing great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter's outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of my I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Prime Wedge is, uh, no, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 927-6648 internationally at 727-445-1044 now your hosts nico dehan and paige clark good morning i'm paige clark and welcome to living a primal lifestyle where we explore a return to a more balanced natural and wild world to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms and i'm nico dehan and it's a beautiful day in downtown Clearwater, somewhere in the 70 degrees. It's going to be beautiful, but it is hot and humid. Hope you are having some good weather where you're at. That's right. The uh, phone number here is 877-927-6648. We have a special guest today. Uh, before we get to that, I'd like to remind you to pick up our uh, Health Signals newsletter. Uh, the one that's supposed to be out this week is coming in next week because I was on vacation, folks. And you deserved it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and, and I'm course. sure it will be great. And, uh, pick up sir, our Primal Edge, over mm -hmm. 310 organic uh, cell ready liquid ingredients and uh, this lets you get the good stuff in and, and the bad stuff out with uh, nature's miracle molecule fulvic and humic and we know that our food no longer has the minerals we need so sometimes it's good to get something and we are so happy to have our guests from our favorite return to real food restaurant here in delightful downtown Clearwater Carolyn Bradham hello. from Carolyn's Kitchen. Yes, hello. A Good morning. To Good morning. Real food. I'm, so, I'm, I'm so proud um, that you were agreed to come at our, you know, crazy early morning show. We're up anyway that early, so no, no problem here. And when you're in the restaurant business, you yeah, get up early. you're up early. <laughs> yeah, you're thinking about what you got to do, and you do. Your 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 restaurant is one of the best in terms of providing really good wholesome food for those of us that are following this type of lifestyle. In and fact, I, uh, it really was the first uh, paleo restaurant in this whole area. Oh, yes. Yeah. I've been told that. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that uh, was the first one I went to, and uh, it uh, just blew my mind because there, when you come into Carolyn's Kitchen, the soups. That's what gets me right away. The bone broth, the bone broth oh, and the soups right. are just fabulous. And uh, anytime I go in there, I always order some of your steaks or you see some of your burgers that are mm -hmm. fabulous. Yeah, and you've got some unique things that I don't normally eat, which would be some of the pastries and things like that mm -hmm. that are slanted towards paleo. So that's real interesting. That's right. Yeah, you do it well. And what you do, you do very well. Thank you, well, I, well, I was eating the other day, and uh, I, ha I knew that you had gone to a workshop with one of our favorite people, Nora Goddess. Yes. And went to her workshop up at the Omega Institute, and I was so envious, and I couldn't wait for you to get back. And um, so you could share with us uh, some of the pearls of wisdom that Nora so graciously shares with her followers. And as Nico and I can tell our listeners, Nora was very influential on both of us in our journey, you know, with her original book, you know, Primal Body, Primal Mind, mm -hmm. and now her more recent book, which is Primal Fat Burner. And that's the book that kind of puts it in perspective. In Primal Body, Primal Mind, she has a real good chapter on uh, the importance of fat. And that's mm -hmm. when it kind of ding. Mm -hmm. it's that, and then the story when she was out there with uh, watching the wolves, and the only thing she did was watch wolves and eat butter. Right. And she lost 40 pounds during yeah. that summer. So that was really interesting. But it, it sort of clicked with me that it was the fat that's what we need. We need a little protein, and the other stuff is okay, but it's the fat that's the fuel, and that's what we burn. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well, you know, I was introduced to paleo because I read Primal Body, Primal Mind. Yeah. Okay. So that was back mm, 2012. Right. It's been a little while. And then uh, I... Somehow I got onto Nora's website. I think I actually was looking at the Primal Fat Burner book to order. Mm -hmm. And I got on her website and I signed up for her newsletter. And um, I got 
this little invitation to come to her first workshop. She was invited by the Omega Institute to come and teach a workshop there. So I think I, I signed up, I think, that very day. I wanted to make sure I could get into that class. Where is the Omega Institute? It's right out of Rhinebeck, New York. It's part of the oh. Borscht Belt, the old Borscht Belt, right? In fact, I thought I was on the set of Dirty Dancing. It was this really? fantastic place out in the woods with cabins. We, it was kind of like camping, but not really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. It was just and beautiful setting. And let me just interject. I've, I'm aware of the Omega Institute. There's lots of events there. Okay. They have a slant towards a vegetarian or vegan. They do. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so that kind of makes it really interesting. interesting, yeah. Yeah, so I thought it was pretty interesting. And, you know, they, they, it looks like they gave it a college try to provide food. They did. They made bone broth for us every day. They we did. had chicken. They, had <laughs> they, they made it to chicken. Yeah, they made it to chicken. And, you know, they have fantastic, like, salad, raw veggies. They mm -hmm. have, like, all the organic. And so we had plenty of food. Yes. It was fine. And, they they really made a point to make sure we had enough to eat so that was that was fantastic yes but it was a beautiful setting mm -hmm. and it was Nora's first workshop apparently and there it was a great class I think there was 11 or 12 of us in that class there were you know NTPs there were people who just wanted to learn about keto I mean it was a mixed bag and she went through a lot of information in that five-day time period but just really made a few salient points which kind of took me from being a little bit in confusion about what keto is. I have, you know, we have customers that are on our meal plan, which is more of an AIP protocol. But Explain a lot, AIP. The auto, autoimmune protocol. Okay, right. So that's kind of like paleo on steroids. You yeah. know, no grains, no legumes, Correct, yes. no eggs. Mm -hmm. No dairy. Primarily because the, you know, the eggs, what they're feeding the chickens. Exactly. Yeah. And some people, on the, when you're trying to handle autoimmune, that can be a source of inflammation. Not necessarily for all, but... Yeah, some people just don't do eggs well. Just exactly. Like yeah. Exactly. So no dairy. And we take out the nightshade vegetables, which can be very inflammatory yeah. for right. people. And we take out the nuts and seeds. So that's that program. But we have people coming in now. Their doctors are putting them on a ketogenic diet. Mm -hmm. Handle their diabetes, handle their blood sugar levels, handle, I have cancer patients coming in. Apparently Moffitt is putting mm -hmm. people on the ketogenic. I went to their website just to kind of verify that and one of the uh, recommendations from, they have like, you know, ask the nutritionist or whatever, especially people with brain cancer, they recommend that ketogenic diet. That's so, correct you know, because we've had, we've had Dr. Uh, uh, D'Agostino on the mm -hmm. show. And we've interviewed, or you know, Stephen and I did for, for here, and that's where they're doing a lot of the research mm -hmm. on the ketogenic, also for so, epilepsy. To explain ketogenic diet, it's a little different than the other types of diet because the, what you're interested in is to make sure that you're burning ketones. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's the distinction. You might be eating the same food, mm -hmm. but the, the distinction is is that you're testing yourself on a regular basis to make sure that morning, noon, and night you're in keto, or at least during a specific period of time. Exactly, right? exactly. You okay. want to be a fat burner, not a carb burner. Right. And you want to make sure that the insulin levels are staying low and suppressed mm -hmm. because that's really the insulin is really the fuel for all of those yeah, chronic so diseases. Yeah, so they're really related in a sense is that, that we're looking at it from a different point of view. Exactly. Okay, now I want exactly. to establish that so the people know it's not too confusing. No, nope. so. no. Nope. So we'll be right back, folks. Uh, we have our guest here, Carolyn, from Carolyn's Kitchen. Stick around. We've got a lot of more information for you. And while you're on the break, I'd like you to pick up some Primal Edge so you can stay healthy. We'll be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And welcome back, folks. So we have Carolyn from Carolyn's Kitchen here, and we we're discussing before about ketones, the difference between ketone diet and all these other things that we call primal diet or paleo diet. And it's really uh, testing yourself to make sure you're in uh, ketogenesis. Well, that's really what the whole point, too, of what we discussed about being on the show today. We wanted you to come in because there were so many pearls, I'm sure, that you learned with Nora. Maybe, you know, four or five key things. And the first one that we talked about was protein math and I think mm -hmm. this is going to be very insightful uh, to a lot of our listeners exactly so the basic thing is to figure out how much protein you really should be eating and her formula is you take your ideal weight mm -hmm. and there's a whole little math formula we have in here that uh, is in her book the primal fat burner right, right. here mm -hmm. book. and uh, on page 199 she's got the whole protein math where you Take your pounds and kilograms, you divide, and then you come up with what your ideal weight, uh, gram amount should be. Mm -hmm. And then you spread that out during the day so that you're not getting it all at once. In fact, she mentioned <coughs> uh, 21 grams is about the most you should consume at any one sitting because mm -hmm. the body can only process so much protein. Yeah. And everything after that goes into the sugar, fat, storing mode <clears throat> so also, you're not really sit, doing yourself a favor sit in the stomach for a long time if there's too much especially yeah. liquids yes you know your the sphincter only opens for a little bit <laughs> that's and right. then it, the rest of it's in in there and especially vegetables start to rot and everything in there and that's why we're you know doing gaseous things right uh the thing that i like about it is that uh, there's a little equation there but i've always been the one that puts the piece of meat in my hand, and mm -hmm. if it fits in my palm, that's about the right spot for me. Yep. And mm -hmm. me eating twice a day, that gets me right in the ballpark. Mm -hmm. And one thing we were talking during the break is that when I was out west eating, uh, we had uh, one of my relatives, uh, we or one of Ellen's relatives, we visited, and they were fixing us a meal, and we had told them no pasta, and they knew what kind of diet we were on, so they fixed some steaks. 
So I ate about three quarters of the steak. My wife ate about half of the steak and took that back to the uh, hotel. And the other people were eating their full steak, plus the vegetables, plus the potato or mm -hmm. pasta or whatever right. they had. So this is what really changes, and that changed my whole perspective. And it took about a year for me to get that balance of the right amount of protein. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a really important part of Nora's book and what you promote, mm -hmm. is get the protein right. Yep. Uh, and then I the call it adequate protein. Yeah, adequate protein. Protein and the fat is never confusing because you can eat as much as you want because it's self-regulating. Because mm -hmm. with too much fat, you go, Ugh, I've had enough. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The only problem is the carbs. It's course. the carbs. Yeah. And I think, that, you know, perfect example is you get a lot of, we've mentioned it on this show too, a lot of people have this perception that paleo or primal people are eating brontosaurus steak burgers like Fred Flintstone, these huge servings, right. and that's not the intention. I think mm -hmm. that's what Nora really drives home on this protein math. For example, my ideal weight, which is not quite where I'm at, but if I take that formula and I do her math, mm -hmm. it puts me at approximately 40 grams of protein. Well, you can easily see that, that um, it's easy to overdo it. Yeah. I know. know. For me, I'm about five ounces of protein mm -hmm. a day, mm -hmm. and that's pre-cooked. You weigh it out, mm -hmm. pre-cooked. So, you know, one egg in the morning, right. that's about six, seven grams of protein right there. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of salmon, or, you know, a little bit of steak. That's all I need. Yeah, we're talking the smaller day. portions, mm -hmm. but also when you're eating the steak or the pork chop, keep that fat on there. That keep fat, the fat there, there will keep you in. Absolutely, and, the fatter and, the better. And particularly if you're trying to lose weight, I like what Nora and other people say. It's not like uh, some people are going overboard because they're getting into the fat burning, and so they think they have to add no. a lot of fat. No, not at all. Y if you're trying to shed a few pounds, uh, probably the fat that comes packaged with the natural meat is is, is sufficient. Yeah, and you know, especially if you're starting to lose weight, you want the body to start burning that fat first. Yeah, we probably have more than <laughs> enough stored right Everybody's there. Everybody's got enough fat, believe me. Yeah, it's exactly true. So that's a really great thing to tell you. Also. Let's talk about your comment about the carbohydrate requirements that well, she shared. Yeah, this was a nice little zinger for me. Um, just, you know, she's a fantastic researcher. And she, her, sta best. Yeah, her statement was she had not been able to find yet any minimum requirement, daily minimum requirement for carbs. It doesn't exist. Yeah, I've been saying that for years. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, I'm thinking to myself, well, that's interesting. Now, the body needs you know, maybe 2 to 3% total carb makeup in the body, but it makes its own just Some from did. the protein and the fat. It doesn't right. need carbs to make the carbs, right? And, you know, this is our conversation every yeah, day. We, yeah, we uh, have a little statement that say, you know, food is medicine, so the protein and the fat is what we need. Protein to rebuild, mm -hmm. fat for fuel. Mm -hmm. Carbohydrates are the medicine, so they have very powerful uh, antioxidants in there, but if you overdo it, it your body kind of just goes, ugh, that's my thinking on it. Mm -hmm. So the smaller portion of vegetables is going to have a greater impact because it's so powerful. It's kind of like spice. You spice it too much, you're not going <laughs> to, it's not going to be too much. And spices and vegetables are very similar in actions because they do uh, actually make the meat and the fat uh, easier to digest. Mm -hmm. It makes them more powerful. It, uh, it kind of enhances everything. Exactly. Well, with the carbs for Nora, it's stay off the sugar. Right. Mm -hmm. So she does non-starchy carbs. Non-starchy, fibrous carbs. Colorful. You know the nice green leafy things, mm -hmm. broccoli. And if you can find wild, that's even better, oh, I think. Totally. Mm -hmm. Because of what we do as human beings is make our vegetables sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Exactly. And they've been all hybridized. And yeah. really, another clue, uh, and a serious clue, is that the really essential uh, fat-soluble nutrients that are hard to get are found in animal-based foods. Exactly. So we are in fat. They're fat-soluble and activated. And so I think that those are real real clues, and we'll talk more about that mm -hmm. in a bit, you know, yeah, the good fats. Yep. In fact, we did discuss the fact that vitamin B12 comes from animal source. Mm -hmm. Only. Only. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. right. So, and of course, the... That's uh, kind of a clue, you know. Um, well, the mm -hmm. fats and the, and the proteins that are in the vegetables are... They have to be reprocessed by our body. Mm -hmm. So our body has to take at least one extra step to get the same thing, right? Yep. 
So that's why the animals actually do a lot of work for well, us. Well, the, the mm -hmm. ruminant animals actually really help us to process the, the Yes, they do. Let's think about it. The cows are eating the grass, mm -hmm. and they have those stomachs for a reason to extract what's needed. We really don't have the enzyme power to process those grasses. Right. So they do it for us. Exactly. It's a beautiful thing. And well, we, I, I really why, like it when yeah. people pay attention to how, yeah, how because, nature works. Because yeah. w when we're t saying animals, mostly we're eating ruminants. We're not going to out and shoot cats and eat cats. And, no, right. Exactly. You know, because those are more like us. They mm -hmm. eat what we eat. Mm -hmm. So we eat the, the ones that eat vegetables. Yep. Mm -hmm. you know, so we're vegetarians. Mm. That's... Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't <laughs> work Secondary for vegetarians. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't yeah. thought about it that way. In a sense. Yeah. Because we don't eat the... Uh, I mean, we are we, eating what they eat. That is absolutely that's right. true. And we don't eat animals that eat meat, Which, generally. It, um, well, chickens will eat worms and grubs. Yeah, I guess yeah, we yeah. can well, go with that. Chickens, but yeah, you're right. Birds are, do, are animals omnivores. Are yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, so are pigs. Pigs will eat anything. Bit, and yeah. cows will eat anything, too, if you put it in front of them. Oh, nothing else. Oh, you can else. force them to, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But no. So. They, we want that. I think so we got the point. We got the point. And, well, and I, I'd like to remind people that uh, Carolyn's Kitchen is at uh, 421 Cleveland Street. In and a return Cleveland. to real food. Yeah, really <laughs> in downtown Clearwater, which is, you got to come here anyway. So uh, that's the only way you're going to see Dunedin and St. Pete's to come to Clearwater, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. So come to that if you're local. If you're not, you, you're going to be in the area. You fi figure out where this place is and come and see us. We'll be right back. would like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. We're with Carolyn from Carolyn's Kitchen, and we are going through some of the pearls she learned with Norga Goddess, a primal fat burner. Let's get to the good fats. Oh, and yeah. I, you brought some of my favorite good fats and ones that uh, Nora recommended, and we'll lead into how a lot of the, the good fats really help us with our brain health. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sh share what you brought over. Well, and I was reading in her fat book, the fat Primal Fat Burner book, um, she had gotten into this section on vitamin D, vitamin A, and K2, how they all need to be working together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're all helpers for each other. And then, of course, they have their other little cohorts that help them too. But she was really fantastic in that she, had, she does a lot of sourcing. She like wants to find the best sources that she can for right. each of her products mm -hmm. that she likes. So she came up with my very good friends. One that you like, Paige, uh -huh. right? The walkabout. This is an emu oil for mm -hmm. K2. Because it has really the full spectrum of the MK4, which is hard to get. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So K2 definitely is a, a big player in that game. For vitamin D3, she liked this product. It's by Biotics, Bio D Motion Forte. Mm -hmm. so, it's a liquid? Um, it's a liquid. Okay. And you take that mm -hmm. right along with these guys. And then, you know, for vitamin A retinol, liver... Is the best source. Is the best source. Now, most, most of us aren't going to eat liver every day. I have some, uh, much I have less some once beef a week. liver in the freezer, you which I'm fixing Saturday. You are probably the exception, yeah. Nico. But, and in fact, we're going to bring liver on to um, probably once a week at the restaurant. Oh, great. Yeah, so we'll keep I you posted that, on that I think that one. would be a great idea to source it because this is the thing. When you go like to, to our food stores around here, you ask for the liver. Um, they have it, but it's a big piece and it's frozen. Yeah. And who's going to eat all that? No. I actually have my new mamas keep it frozen and then grate it mm -hmm. in the frozen on top of their eggs mm -hmm. or on top of their I other meal. I love that idea so it's much. Kind, it's kind of sneaky. You That's know, it's a like good way to do it. it in. Yeah. The other thing that I like to tell people is to treat this as if it was a whole food mm -hmm. and maybe you take... 10 of these capsules once or twice a week, it's as if you had a serving exactly. of liver oh, versus, liver. Right. We're, you know, taking the everyday, take two capsules, take it as a, a meal so you get the that's, quantity. In fact, that's what I'm doing mm -hmm. about twice a week. So I do this ancestral grass fed. Now I've got the beef organs. They also just have plain liver mm -hmm. and like six capsules of that. And I just use that as my protein source for my meal and I'm getting all my good stuff in there and it's fantastic it's a good way to get that vitamin a and I, so. I like that i think that's a super way to get our vitamin a because so many of the a lot of people think that they're getting their vitamin a from their plant foods they're not that's beta carotene right and i've had a lot of my uh vegan or vegetarian people that come to see me and i really work hard to explain to them that they're not getting what they need i look at their palms and they're often very orange because they're not mm -hmm. making the conversion they're not getting the right form of vitamin a exactly and that very hard she, to get. she drove that home pretty pretty hot and heavy so speaking of that Fat soluble nutrients for yeah. brain health talk about it oh my gosh so our brains were made to burn fat Yes, that they was are. the bottom line. And, you know, every day, practically, as we were going through it, it kept coming back to how our brain health is so tied up into the fat that we get. And obviously, the correct fats, the good fats, the good healthy fats, right? And there was one study she mentioned, and I, I wish I had the, the reference, where they actually were taking brain scans of different populations. They had vegans, they had vegetarians, they had the, the sad group, the standard American right. diet, you know, and I think they may have had some more primal type guys they were following. But the brain, the group that had the most brain shrinkage was the vegans, even more so than the sad group. Oh. And that was kind of a wake up call to me. I mean, I grew up vegetarian myself. Mm -hmm. And I get so upset when I see some of these young mamas who are trying to raise their babies. I just want to cry. Well, I know. We mm -hmm. went over that, too. You know, I, and I didn't realize this, but babies are born in ketosis. And they are. Breast milk is 70% fat. Exactly. And then uh, Nora brought a screen up, and she's showing the baby food, organic baby food, and it's high in carbs, low in fat. Yeah. So here we are in their developmental stages. While they're building a strong brain. While they're trying to build a good brain health and, you know, everything else, we're moving them toward a lower fat, 
higher carb, yeah. just setting them up for failure. Yeah, we had been talking on a previous show about uh, just eating only meat and the, and the people that were doing that. And this one gal says, you know, when uh, he went off the breast after two and a half years, I just gave him a bone, a lamb bone. And he just started figuring it out. And that was good for teething. Oh, and, and it's great for bone structure great because for we bone build structure. Our, our bones And then that he's way. getting all the vitamins from the bone and whatever meat is on there. And slowly but surely, she increased the meat. Mm -hmm. And that's the way uh, she brought up that uh, second child of hers. And the, and the first child was converted uh, later on with the first one. Mm -hmm. But it's fascinating how kids can figure things out. And uh, if you don't give them the sugar, they're not going to be drawn to it. And yet, and yet, most people in the standard American diet are giving their children the mushiest foods, and that goes into that whole realm that many of you guys know. I've been following the doctor's mew from the UK on how to build the bone. Yeah. It is really fascinating, but it comes back and supportive of what Nora's been teaching. Let's go to, you know, we, I think what we just covered here is the crucial point is we need to get this message out. Oh, Nora, yeah. Nora has been a leader in getting this message out and one of the ways that I think is very effective is through videos and one of the videos you all watched together we did a show on it's called the magic pill. The magic pill was phenomenal. Phenomenal. We showed the uh, trailer. Yeah. And uh, Well there's a lot of good new movies out. The other one was the one we were talking about during the break which was the uh, uh, the plant paradox. Plant paradox, yeah. yeah. With so the we're all saying similar things that plants, yeah, they're important, but they're not a staple anymore. Mm -hmm. No, you've got to have your protein, you've got to have your fat. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of the bottom line. Yeah. You know, it's like watching the, the magic pill. I was like, um, I was with family and I was like, these are all my people. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. I loved it. It was like <laughs> one, gra one great thought leader in this field. And, um, you know, one of the people that we we saw on that show as well was Nina Teichels mm. and her book The Big Fat Surprise. The Big Fat Surprise, that's right. And I had the pre pleasure of meeting her at the Weston A. Price Foundation meeting. Nora is very involved with the Weston A. Price so it was really great. And um, what did, what were some of the things with the discussion after the magic pill you know, with Nora and the group? I, the thing that I think was very interesting is they had such a diverse group that they featured. They had the Aborigines mm -hmm. from Australia and they had, you know, a family with an autistic child and the grandmother was having all sorts of other health issues, that whole family. They had a nurse who I believe she was diabetic, she had all these other problems. They had a vegan featured on there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really had a diverse little segment that they featured, mm -hmm. but the, the, the overall thing was we're all kind of the same. We all need the same basic foundation. Right. Yeah, we right? haven't changed. We really. haven't changed. And that particular way of eating, all of them basically went back to a primal way of eating to handle their health. their health problems. And you, you got that story. I mean, it was over, I think the aboriginals, they went to a camp for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And at the end of two weeks, some of them were off of their insulin. Mm -hmm. Some of them were really reduced down, just in two weeks' time, back to how they used to eat. It was really, really, very almost like tear jerking. We, yeah, we, some of us had some well. hankies out with oh, them. Oh yeah, but, it was yeah. it was a very well done movie, especially in light of I think can't even remember now the the movie that it kind of was in, oppos in opposition to. Yeah, but good stuff. Stick Fantastic. around, folks. We'll be, be back, right back with Carolyn's Kitchen. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. 
No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And welcome back. We're here with Carolyn from Carolyn's Kitchen in downtown Clearwater. So... I wanted to ask you, we, we talked about some of, what were some of the other things that you all discussed that really made you, you know, because you're very knowledgeable about this whole way of living, but you just came back and said it was just one great revelation after the other. Yeah, it was. And, you know, some of the things you kind of know, but she just puts them in the right perspective, right? And I think, you know, at the, at the end of the day, you've got to have clean food, mm -hmm. right? No feedlot meat. You've got to have grass fed. You've got to have your pastured pork, your chicken, your eggs should be pastured. You know, chickens running out eating bugs and worms and things like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where you're going to get your best source of food, right? The sourcing there. is just absolutely huge. And then, of course, your vegetables, they should all be organic if you can get them organic. I mean, we've talked about organic and using the Clean 15 list, you know, mm -hmm. but there's so much environmental toxins with us today. It's like, Give yourself the best cutting edge you can. You know, give yourself the organics that you can just make sure you don't have those toxins added yeah. into your diet and, uh, as well. We mentioned during the break that NORA is not too big on seafood, especially in the nor northern hemisphere right. because of what mm -hmm. happened to Japan a few exactly. years back. But we also talked about that good sources are probably the shellfish, the bottom feeders, because they have a built-in ability, a built-in digestive system to filter things out. Mm -hmm. And those particular bacteria are very good for us to do the same thing right and there's and a lot of controversy with people on that but a lot of people explain that some of the shellfish come packaged with the mineral say for example selenium for yeah. detoxifying but and also we talk about liver of course uh, the reason we use these organs are these cleansing organs because they, they do are cleanse. cleansing organs, they are cleansing they are organs. Cleansing. Yeah. Exactly. So, so getting really to this source I want you uh, Nico if you could go ahead and pull it up Nora has a wonder, you know, we've been talking about learning all of this, but what I love is I am in Nora's restoration program. And it's a certification course. It comes, it's over 52 units. Yep. And you're enrolled in I it as enrolled well. I enrolled immediately as soon as I found out about it. I'm so excited. And and I'll tell you, as we learn, it's like dosing. You you can only take, there's so much information. I Nico know. and I have been doing the show. We talked about it. Nico's done the show for 10 years. I've been here six years. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of information. It's always changing. I think Nora is an excellent teacher. She yes. explains. She's very well researched, very well read, very knowledgeable and intelligent. And 
I believe this this course is priceless, mm -hmm. and yet it's it's so reasonable. It's so yeah. I think it's right now. Let's see, 52 lessons. It was about $500 to enroll. I know they're changing their platforms, and I think there's going to be a price change within that coming up fairly soon. But she gives you your lessons. You get to work at your own pace, and, and she has her Wednesday she question has her and Wednesday answer available. live chat. Mm -hmm. every Wednesday so I mean she really makes herself available to make sure that you get your questions answered and that you understand the material but I'll tell you another thing I was really impressed Nora would make a statement and right behind it she had at least one if not more studies to back up what well, she was saying. Well if you look at her books they're so well researched yes, and, they she's, are. and she she doesn't um, she has her opinions but she backs her opinions with research exactly. and that's why she's such a credible person to learn from. So I want to encourage people, mm -hmm. if you really like learning about what we've been saying for years and, and where we've been getting all this information, visit Primal Body, Primal Mind, Norgid Goddess, and look into the Primal Restoration Certification course. It's available to everyone mm -hmm. and you will be uh, having information that will help you and your family stay healthy for years and years to come. Exactly. Well, and she makes it, she does make it easy to understand. I mean, most of us think we have to be science majors, and that is not true at all. She really makes it so that you can easily understand the information. Yeah, you know, a lot of times she has, she has the little analogies, like mm -hmm. she has about fat burning, and uh, she the first one I remember that really stuck in my mind, she says if you're eating the carbohydrates, it's like putting paper or little sticks on the fire, yeah. which keeps the fire going fine. You just have to keep doing it. Exactly. But if you want to be satiated so you go to a more primal diet, what happens is you throw a log on the fire and then you can kind of have a life and that log will burn for hours and hours. And that's so, such a great vision because when yeah. you think of kindling, it's a spoof of energy and then it dies out. Spoof right. of energy and that's what I think of when I think of people who are carbohydrate burners. Primarily they're constantly having to eat to... Well, in fact, they have a regiment saying we have to eat six times a week. There's mm -hmm. many people that are in that camp, and mm -hmm. it's, it's crazy. I think one or two times a, week, uh, a day is, is enough, not six times a day. Right. Uh, I've got uh, enough life that I don't want to do that. Yeah, I really don't want my life revolving around eating. I don't have time for that. Right. <laughs> and I feel so much better, uh, you know, like you said, uh, eating. I, sometimes I'll eat three meals a day, but... Again, I've really learned to scale the portions. I'm, I seem to be I do better with two. Yeah, yeah. That's about me. what I end up with. Mm -hmm. I end up with two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't. It's not a bother. I mean, it's just. It's oh, a, yeah. For me, it's a time factor. Yeah, well, that too, for sure. You know, I, mean, I, I do better kind of getting up in the morning and then eating. You know, around ten o'clock, mm -hmm. and then by about four, I'm ready. And then I'm usually pretty much done for the day. Yeah, Maybe and of course a, a lot of our schedule revolves around our jobs. Yes. You know? <laughs> so, uh, you know, my wife is, uh, she's out there all day long, so if she eats lunch, it has to be something that she takes with us mm -hmm. from home mm -hmm. or find a decent restaurant that, that serves this stuff. Right. Hey, let me, let me ask you that. Did this come up in the conversation about the timing of the meals? Because more and more, uh, it's so hard because we're socially structured mm -hmm. to make dinner the center of the universe because that's when we come back home, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, however, there is a lot. There's a lot of evidence that, particularly as we get over 40, if we can be done eating by four to six, mm -hmm. and most people aren't off work until then, but and get, start that fasting period into mm -hmm. the evening. Well, that's what we do when we're not working. Is my wife and I plan on around four o'clock, even like if we're going Sunday out to dinner. dinner. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a four o'clock. Feel much better, and then you got hours because we go to bed relatively early, early mm -hmm. at nine o'clock. Is for You're me. you are really awesome as far as following work, well, Mr. Katie and Beth. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's my job. You know, it's a, the job tells me I have to be at work at 5.30 or 6. So then I have to get up early, which means I have to go to bed early. Mm -hmm. Something I uh, never thought I would do when I was a kid. Nighttime was it for me. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, when you're a kid, that's the way your body works. You know, you're all enthusiastic and everything. I'm not going to sleep until I'm tired. Mm -hmm. But uh, as I got older and older and started really working out more and changing my diet, to automatically I, I'm up with the sun and mm -hmm. down down with the non-sun. Right. Well, what did Nora say about timing of meals? Did she say? Well, she, we didn't really get into that too much. Mm -hmm. We did talk a little bit about intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, you know, she didn't necessarily push that, but it can definitely be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Well, it so. seems like it's a natural part of being a primal if you're out in the woods. A lot mm -hmm. of times you don't find food. Different times of year it's harder to find. Mm -hmm. So you naturally would be that. 
Right. So it's a kind of built-in health signal that we have to now put into a schedule. Well, mm -hmm. you think about it, when you're fasting, you're alert, and many people who practice intermittent fasting uh, after they've become adapted to it to increase their focus. And, that's and, the, and you right. had to, if you were hungry. Yeah, if, if you're you were, not adapted to it, you go crazy like a car mm -hmm. burner. Yeah. I really... <laughs> that's not a stealthy uh, hunting style. Right, and <laughs> I admire all of Nora's work, because a lot of a lot of people don't realize that she is also a neurofeedback Yes. Uh, trained practitioner, yeah. so very That's aware of what's what's going on with the brain and how the brain uh, operates. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're going to take a short break. Okay. When we come back, we want to talk a little bit about what you got cooking oh about boy. Carolyn's Kitchen. And okay. you told us that you got some specials for Ooh. 4th of July. We and do have some things you some ideas up. where you're at. Be right excited. back. Okay. <laughs> I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TF and you'll find market insights under trading newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices, located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit tfnn.mobi in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating Investors. And welcome back, and we're going to talk about food right here. And on the screen, I have some of the everyday favorites, and you have the Scottish salmon, wild yeah. salmon, I might add, uh, grass-fed meatloaf and gravy, very delicious, bacon-wrapped chicken with lemon white wine sauce. That yes, wonderful. we make that out that. of veggies, believe it or grass -fed not. Grass-fed meatloaf mm -hmm. and gravy. Uh, KLK famous turkey patties. I haven't tried those yet. Keith Lorraine. And I like your, it's a crustless. Yes, it's made with zucchini. Mm -hmm. oh, 
And then we have bacon wrapped chicken with lemon white wine sauce. Those are your regulars. You mm -hmm. have some uh, really good steaks. You have that Korean steak that I often yes, get. Yes, that flank steak. It's oh. that grass fed flank steak. We marinate that and make a little Korean lettuce wrap with that. Yeah, it reminds really me of skirt those. steak type yes, of. Yeah, absolutely. really, really nice and fatty mm -hmm. and uh, gristly. Mm -hmm. and, oh, I love it. The other thing I want to share with our, our listeners is that you actually uh, will prepare meals for people, many, like you mentioned, people that are on the autoimmune protocols from their doctors mm -hmm. or from their own decisions. Mm -hmm. to take control yep. and um, that's something that they can contact you and yep. get on your we list. We have a meal plan they pick mm -hmm. up twice a week it's all made fresh so they can just stick it in the refrigerator eat it when they're ready. Well that's really a big part of your business is providing food uh, to go. That's how I started. Did you? Mm -hmm. I didn't intend to start the restaurant. Right. The catering I was, was going to do started. the meal plan for people. And downtown Clearwater really has no great restaurants. I mean, the uh, I think the biggest restaurant is probably the uh, with the uh, Scientology. So. No, uh, Clear Sky. Oh, Clear Sky now. Clear That's Sky, right, Clear right, Sky right, right across very the nice street. Very nice restaurant too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a fantastic. You know, yeah. we actually are getting more restaurants. In fact, I think let's see. Also, Black Brick just opened up. Oh, there's another. Uh, oh, what's Black Brick? <clears throat> I haven't even been in there yet. They're just getting ready to open. You go over there and teach them how to source their food. Well, <laughs> I don't know that they're ready for that. But, you know, and then there's another, I think, the tequila place is coming in oh, with the, it used to be down the street on Fort Harrison. They're moving in across the street. So oh, that's really, where they changed. Yeah. They're okay. really pushing to bring in a lot more restaurants that and obviously nice. more downtown it. retail. Look, you know, when we see what's happening in downtown St. <coughs> Pete and what's happened in Dunedin for years, I know. we're missing the boat here. We want those same customers coming our way. And it's actually happening. Yeah. It's actually happening. We just had the ba the uh, Concierge Association come through. We always bring them through. The Downtown Merchants Association brings them through once a year. And they've been very, very helpful in and terms of, of the sending Capitol their people back over. Being there helps Love Capital Theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we even have a Starbucks. So. Well, yeah. I'm just going to let you guys in on a secret. Uh, we would love to have um, to be the host for Nora to come and do a workshop so I'm oh my gosh. this out there. I have been, Please I've do. been flirting with her about it for a little bit. Good. And, uh, we'll be know, happy to help support that. And we yeah. could do the food. So those of you that are in the area or, if, or come wintertime, you want to come down to Florida and get a little bit of a sunshine and a little knowledge on on uh, how to do a primal restoration, uh, help that we can put this together. Yeah, and she's got a very busy schedule, I but know. we've started the conversation. Fantastic. And if that's the case, we'll we'll keep people posted. Well, I'll on back that. you up any way I can on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. So one of the things we are looking at bringing into the restaurant because of Nora's workshop is liver. Yeah. I'm so right. glad. But we, and we because have, we've got I don't grass like fed. to cook it, but I want yeah. No, you're going to source it. You're going to make we've it. We've got the grass fed already sourced, and uh, we're looking at maybe once a week. Mm -hmm. Having a little liver special for people. I liver love that onions. because mm -hmm. I yeah, I have ne never cooked liver myself except for chicken livers. So mm -hmm. this uh, Sunday when I fix my liver will be the first time. So I'm going to look for recipes and stuff like that. So I just want to not overcook it. No. Yes. You don't. Well, key, our right? chef is very excited about it. He loves to cook livers. So oh, well, wonderful. we're going we're gonna to bring that one on. We'll probably figure a few different ways to do it for sure. people and give them a little variety. What about sweetbreads. We've talked about that too. We're really looking the at the nose to tail. The only place I know that has that, yeah. So the other place that has You're talking that. talking about the is, stomach lining? Is yep. the, no, that's not the stomach lining. That's the pancreas, right? I, is it pancreas? Yeah, sweetbreads. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The stomach lining is chickens or. Um, no, Chickens or something. Right? I thought that's called sweet bread. Anyway. Well, either way, yeah. see, we need to learn. Nose our, the tail. Guess, yeah, nose, nose the, the tail. tail. That's what we need. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it went, well, by so, it went by so fast. Um, thank you does. for coming in, Carolyn. Carolyn's Kitchen and talking about primal restoration and return to real food. Right downtown Clearwater, folks. Downtown Go there. Clearwater. And what's the phone number? 727 447 2536. Fourth of July, we're having barbecue. All right, oh, wow. barbecue. We, yep, Thanks, yep. folks. See you next time. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. 
Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.